How's it? Today is Saturday, May 28th. I'm straightening my priorities. Uh, today's a sumo deadlift day with some bench press, finally. Um, given it is Saturday, sleep was not good. Sleep was 5 out of 10 at best. I, you know, I, I work in a restaurant for those of you who don't know. So Friday nights are typically our busiest nights. Friday, I get Friday and Saturday. Saturday sometimes is slower. I don't know why, but either way, like I get home eleven forty-five. Sometimes it's later than that. Like I get out of work at eleven thirty, like pretty often, and I need to come home and make sure I eat properly, make sure I um, shower, and then like I wind down, and then it, and then suddenly it's like two a.m. at that point. And like, yeah, maybe I could go to sleep a little bit earlier than that, but I feel like just relaxing at the end of the day is very, very important for my like mental health. Not only because it's a, like restaurant work is, is stressful, um, but also because like that is the only time I have in the day to like be by myself. <laughs> um, and like I, I'm 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 a pretty introverted person, even though I work in customer service, um, customer service and sales. So like when I when I think about like a lot of my time outside of work, I, I usually just spend it by myself. And to me, that that is very very helpful. That's very relaxing. It makes me feel like I'm like re uh, recharging. I guess I, I don't know how else to say that, but. Yeah, those 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 day, those those hours at the end of work at the end of the night are really important to me, um, which means that like if I wake up in the morning to go lift, I need to. I'm either gonna be late or something else is gonna happen. Um, so today I probably had like six hours of sleep or something like that when I woke up. Woke up at like nine, something. I, I'm not super sure, um, but. It, I did make it to the gym on time. I had plenty of time to, to do everything that I needed to do, um, which is essentially this right here. Sumo the lift for five fives at 155. Uh, everything was moving pretty well. I'm super happy with how, how it felt. Uh, I don't think that it's going to be heavy for any time soon. Um, there were, I think there was one rep that I didn't um, do a touch and go, and that was a bit challenging, but that's kind of how my sumo deadlift looks and how it has looked in the in the past um yeah i think today was fun i, I had I had a lot of fun at the gym um just even though i just went on this whole like dialogue monologue monologue not dialogue this whole monologue about how i'm i'm an introverted person um today i was just like chilling with the with the guys at the gym it was cool. We we're talking story, um, helping some um, Brandon out with some uh, like uh, technique stuff. Talked to Vince a bunch. You know, it was it was a it was a fun time. I was just vibing. I was listening to my own music and stuff, and um, yeah, it was uh, very happy with with um, how today went. Um, as far as bench goes, I went up to 185 for three sets of ten. Oh, that's the one I didn't do the touch and go. <laughs> I went up to 185 for three sets of 10. And uh, not much to say about that. I think my bench hasn't gone, hasn't uh, declined uh, tremendously in the time that I haven't been benching. But I am pretty happy with where I'm at. I mean, of course, I, I would like to be stronger. But at some point, like, I need to bench more if I want to be stronger, right? <laughs> um, but, yeah. Uh, what else did I do? I did dumbbell overhead walks because that was, like, the only thing I really had energy for. Again, like, I didn't have the best recovery overnight, but it's Saturday, and, like, in the past, especially if you've been following me for super long, Saturdays are the day that if I don't feel like I'm going to be able to lift, I don't feel like I'm going to have a productive training session I'll just skip it um, sometimes it's because I wake up too late sometimes it's because I wake up too tired sometimes it's um, like I don't think I'm going to be able to progress the way that 
the that week uh, suggests I should. And so when that happens, it's like one of those things where you auto regulate. You're like, okay, I don't think I can actually do the things that I need to do today. So is it worth it to to show up and and perform poorly and like risk um, like a mental blow? Probably not, right? It's just a single day and like I don't compete in the sumo deadlift. I don't compete in the bench press. Uh, sometimes I front squat on, on this day. Sometimes um, I'll do some other accessory stuff, but I don't compete in any of those lifts. So if I come in and I miss a deadlift because it's too heavy, what does that mean for my mental state moving forward? It's it's probably not worth the time to go in and get that sort of in my head that I'm weaker than I think I am, right? So yeah, this is the day that I typically will omit if there is any sort of un like uncomfortable uncomfortability with the programming or like questionability with the programming. Um, and that's not to say that that's a fault of my coach. That's literally me not being able to keep up with the recovery and stuff like that. And that is something that I, I've been trying to address a lot more lately. It's why I'm talking about my sleep more. Uh, I might talk about my food intake a little bit more. But yeah, that's it for today. It was a good one. Thank you for watching. Shoots.